Yeah, Kevin Durant <laughs> joining us now. Um, man, it's been a busy off season. It's been fun watching you. I mean, you're obviously a huge tennis fan because yeah. I saw you at the U.S. Yeah. Open. They they brought up the the Commanders game, yeah. and then there, there seems to be like some sort of a battle I think going on between you, Book, and Beal because you guys all had the walk-ins with Drake. Yeah. Uh, who had the best? <laughs> who had the best walk-in? I would I would say uh, I'm gonna have to go with me for sure. But the Arizona walk-in for Book that was, was legendary. Yeah, well, you were in Austin. <laughs> right? Yeah, I'm gonna go with Book. I'm gonna go with Book. Yeah, he was. He had the he had the book ones on too. Oh, there you go. It was a legendary night. That's great stuff. Yeah. How was your off season? It was fun, man. Every off season is fun. Being an NBA player, professional athlete, you can, you know, we've been blessed with so many great opportunities. So, you know, the opportunity to enjoy it all season is pretty cool. It's pretty different than my off season. I used to be on a mountain and nobody knew what the heck happened. You used to be. You still are. Well, yeah, kind of, maybe a little bit. But it it is crazy because, yeah, I see you guys walking out of a gym in L.A. and I see you walking out of a gym in wherever. I mean, it's just it's just amazing that you guys are like you have to have paparazzi like following you around. You're such you were mentioned. And I mean, because you're blessed because of what you have. But you've got to sometimes feel like, uh, can I just blend in here a little bit? Yeah, sometimes you do feel like a fish in a fishbowl. You want to go up to the mountains and hang out. (laughs) He's got Um, room. Yeah, I might have to call you up on that. But um, like I said, it's a it's it's give and take and everything and it's something you just got to deal with but for the most part people are respectful and really appreciate what we bring to the table as athletes so there's a lot of cool interactions you know when we go out nowadays so it's not too bad well you've got to be excited i mean from the first minute guys could sign and i said this to james jones i think they signed six guys in like five minutes i mean for guys <laughs> yeah. obviously they're lining up to want to come and play with you and with book and yeah. the things that are happening here but guys like eubanks who's i mean he's one of the leader leading shot blockers in the league in 20 minutes a game yeah. and i'm intrigued by bull bull and obviously eric gordon took a bunch less money to come here and play mm-hmm. that's got to be rewarding and you're excited about it yeah most definitely i mean guys want to be around talented players but let, let's not underestimate the city of Phoenix and, and people wanting to live here in Phoenix. I think uh, Eubanks has, was living in Phoenix before, oh, you know, know in, in the off seasons yeah. already, so it was an easy transition for him, and I think this city is, attracts a lot of people, you know, a lot of guys want to come play here, so then you add the talent and the coaching staff that we have on top of it, I think it's a win-win for anybody who's looking for a new team. Josh Bartelstein was saying when he went to the practice facility, <laughs> all he heard were swishes. He was like, Paul's not even touching the rim, man. You guys yeah. have added some more shooters, too. Yeah. Your former teammate, uh, Utah Watanabe, mm-hmm. obviously Eric Gordon. Mm-hmm. Um, I mean, Grayson Allen is a yeah. career 40% shooter from, from deep. Yeah. What has that been like? Kind of describe to the fans those workouts. And, and TC talked about it. You guys have been working out sometimes in, in California as yeah. well. Yeah, I mean, we spent a few days with each other in the summer and a couple of days here now, a um, week before camp, guys getting in the gym, getting to know one another. And it's good when you got guys that can stretch the floor like that, that can give uh, your score space that, to operate, but uh, also guys who got the opportunity to, when they get the opportunity to get the ball, they know how to score it as well and make plays for one another. So I think we got multiple guys that can do that, and uh, we're looking forward to seeing how it works on the floor. I mean, it's easy to say right now. On paper, everything looks great for every team in the league, but um, getting the reps in and truly understanding our roles, that's the hardest part, and I'm looking forward to doing 13 that. 13 new guys from the end of last season. It's crazy. I know it's always a difficult question question because you don't want to just spotlight one guy but like in the couple of workouts is there somebody like whoa he can bring that um i mean uh, like uh i mean i I pretty much know all of these guys in and out i mean the scout reports always you know deep in the season so you know what each player does and we know their tendencies but um just uh just being around these players and seeing who they are seeing their routines i think that's the coolest part you know that's a I'm always interested to see what a guy is like on a day-to-day basis, and these guys are true professionals, so it's only going to help us out, help our team out, and make our, the product on the floor even better. I love the fact they got a couple of guys that aren't scared. Exactly. When you get Nurkic in there and you get Grayson Allen in there, I mean, those are the guys you don't want to play against. You want them on your exactly. team. You've got to be excited about exactly. guys who are not afraid to put their, their face in the middle exactly. of it. Exactly. Those guys are physical, and they've been in the fire before, so they know what it takes. So we're looking forward to being around guys that – got that experience and I think that's the underrated part of becoming a great team in this league is having veteran experience in the room sometimes it's the nonverbal communication is what's going to get you through and I think a lot of these guys have been in those situations last one Bradley Beal is at the podium right now describe his personality and that that hoop DNA that he brings to this team yeah just a pure heart pure pure heart for the game somebody who's constantly getting better can 
score and shoot from every area on the floor. And when you see a guy that can do that, you know he put a lot of work into his craft. So somebody I appreciate, I think the fans here in Phoenix are, you know, I'm sure he played no East Coast his whole career, so you may not have seen him as much. But when you see somebody every single game, it's going to be incredible because he brings so much to the team, too much, so much to the game of basketball as a whole. It's going to be fun. All right, KD, thanks so much. The the ultimate cleanup hitter on our show here on <laughs> Arizona Family Sports, our first broadcast on the new TV station. So we will take a break right now quickly, and you can continue watching our coverage here from 2023 Suns Media Day on the Suns YouTube channel.